hi guys welcome we're gonna be reviewing this fragrance this is new to my collection this is the Derek lamb 10 crosby something wild edit parfum 50 ml 1.7 fluid ounce the um the packaging is plastic white plastic and it's got this uh bold all caps um letters font on the front your classic typical label at the bottom um and this fragrance also has a logo at the top with the c and the number 10 representing the 10 crosby the automizer is black uh, sorry white with uh the same logo uh same plastic um it's a tinted glass it's like a, a plum color or purple um and yeah it is um the automizer works okay it's um you know not the best automizer but it works nice the cap snaps in with a magnetic closure like that and um it's um you know a simple uh cylindrical shape perfume and the box is also in a cylinder like shape that comes apart like this and then the bottle sits right in there and yeah it's like a it's a cardboard tube um that's the best way i can describe it i got this at um nordstrom rack and um so this one is made in the u.s and um it's the, the price for the the sale price is 29.97 um, so I believe it goes for like $80 retail price. Um, so it's nicely textured box. It's a uh, pretty good sturdy, um, cardboard material. Um, and so, yeah, so that is what the bottle looks like. You guys, let's get into the fragrance. Hi guys. Hello, my chickens and roosters. Thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, my name is Ali and, um, we are going to be reviewing a fragrance that I picked up. Um, and this is the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby et de Parfum, and this is the box it comes with. Um, I already showed you a close up of the bottle, but um, so yeah, it's got a little magnetic top, um, it's plastic, um, it's you know, this, the design is pretty sleek. I mean, you know, for what it is, it's a little different. Um, but yeah, it is all plastic except for the glass right here. It doesn't slide off or anything. And you can, you know, you can see uh, where it's kind of sheer. A plant color uh, glass bottle. A lot of people think that the liquid is plum or purple. But no, the, in fact, the bottle itself, the glass is tinted purple, making it look like the juice is purple. But um, it, I'm going to get right to it. So this one here um, is, is called the Something Wild Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. And um, this these his collection of fragrances were inspired as, if you don't know, um, he's from New York. He's a designer from New York. And his main goal was to design fashion and high-end quality clothing at an affordable price and his inspirations come from the streets people walking uh walking by on the streets back and forth this fragrance was inspired by someone that he saw and his the, you know the i don't know if it was a, if a she or a he it doesn't really matter but um their attire their demeanor of that person walking by his his uh work office on um on new in, in new york uh reminded him that that person was like something wild and this fragrance um i don't know if the name necessarily does it justice like if it's something wild i wouldn't say that it's something wild but anyways um so this on fragantica the main chords for this one is three three main chords vanilla woody and powdery it's a very simple fragrance. Um, this was uh, launched in 2015, this uh, Something Wild um, ED, uh, EDP. And um, it's so simple. It's like, so simple, simple, simple. 
it's only got two notes listed on Fragantica. It's Madagascar Vanilla and Cedar, and that's it. So, okay. So, only Madagascar Vanilla and Cedar on this one. For some reason, I actually get a little bit of sandalwood um, on this when I spray this. Um, it's supposed to be like a cedar wood, vanilla bean, Madagascar, very smooth. It is very smooth. It's very unisex. Uh, it's pretty sweet. The vanilla gives it, gives that cedar such sweetness which that's why possibly i i'm picking up like a sandalwood kind of a scent um because of the mixture of the the mixture uh, of those two notes together it's very simple it's like i said this is a very easy to wear if you like vanilla if you like sandalwood again like i said they're not listing sandalwood on this fragrance but if you like that like sandalwood sweet vanilla cedar mixture together you will like this one it's a very safe fragrance um very safe for men and women you can wear it around the office you can wear it um when you're running errands um, it is sweeter, you know, it is not, I wouldn't say gourmand, um, even though it's vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, um, but it is, um, it's elegant vanilla, okay, so it's very simple, like I said, and this could be very easily um, layered, so what I find nice about these simple fragrances is that you can enhance another fragrance that you already own, so... This can go really nice with something more spicy if you want it for evening wear. Um, like you could even layer it with, I think that it would go really nicely with um, tuberose, like a heavy tuberose fragrance. You could you could even do um, like a honey, a honey like sweeter gourmand uh, with this one. And this, using it as a base, it would be just nice or you know, any fragrance that you know that has vanilla, but you want that more more vanilla richness, more like sandalwoody, um, you can layer this one. So yeah, this is the um, Derek Lamb Something Wild um, fragrance. Very safe, very easy to wear. Um, you can't go wrong with this one. Um, you can't like, it, I don't think it can be heady or overpowering in any way. I think this is a perfect layering fragrance. So you can wear it just standalone on its own for just a very easy casual wear something that you don't want to offend anybody you just want to smell like like kind of sweet and clean um not that it's soapy or shampooy in any way but it does smell like on the dry down like a a, a nice really soft faint high-end lotion um so I would recommend this one if you're a very simple, minimalistic kind of person that doesn't like to overpower with a perfume or a fragrance. This is a good choice. I picked this up um, at a Nordstrom Rack at a really decent price, but I think it retails between like $80 and $100, uh, depending on the size. Uh, like I showed you, this is a 1.7 ounce, and um, I just was curious about the the fragrance itself because i've never seen a Derek uh, lamb fragrance before even though it's been out for a while it hasn't picked up too much traction uh in the fragrance community but um the reason why i picked it up it was a blind buy um because i wanted to compare the price on fragrance net to see if i could get a better price on there and actually um i was surprised that they were sold out so um so that's what intrigued me in purchasing this fragrance because it was um, it was sold out on FragranceNet. And I've actually blind, blind bought a lot of fragrances uh, because FragranceNet has been sold out on them. And I haven't gotten to list all the fragrances that I have, um, you know, that I've bought, but I'm trying to get there, guys. And with your support... this one with your support i would like you to 
please like, hit subscribe, comment, share this video. Um, and, you know, I'm just trying to build a channel. And with your love and support, I'm going to get there. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to do something that I really love, that I'm passionate about. And I love sharing with you guys. If you'd like to sample this fragrance or any of the fragrances that I have uh, listed or previewed in my channel, you can click the link below. I have um, available 2ml bottles um, and I I fill them when, as you know, I, I place them. I, sorry, what I'm trying to say is I fill them to order. So they're not sitting anywhere like in a bottle, in a, in a little decanter or anything like that. I spray them the minute that I get your order. I like, I transfer into that little 2ml decant spray bottle and then I ship it to you. But yeah, I would like to share, um, you know, I'd like to share the scent, fra scent fragrances with you. And you know, um, yeah. You can go ahead and sample this one. Hit, you know, hit that like button, subscribe for me. And um, yeah, share the love, you guys. And that's another review, perfume review for you. So yeah. Derek Liam, you guys. Well, until next time. Thanks.